about to start uh, working on making the under framing for this bonnet. There's more under framing here than a race car needs. All of this stuff here is just to make it nice and smooth for the road. We don't need that for racing, that's just unnecessary weight. So I'm going to change this under frame panel to a perimeter frame and mould it. Crap. For cooling efficiency on a race car, you want to jam all the air you can capture through your radiators. But a lot of builders forget about what happens to all that air once it enters the engine bay. If all that air has to somehow work its way past your engine, maybe out through your wheel wells and down and under the foot wells of your car, it creates drag and lift, two things you just don't want in a race car. But if it goes up, out and over the top of your bonnet, it increases that airflow and creates downforce, two things you do want in a race car. I will be suggesting that my client add ducting from the bottom of the radiators curving up to the back of the vents in the bonnet to achieve this. Depending on what else has to go in here of course. <laughs>
the first few days of working on the front of this RX-7, I increased the size of the main radiator opening. And after I did it, I thought I might have made it too big. So this section here wasn't here. The top of the scoop uh, was up along the edge line there. So I dropped it 50 mil to make the uh, main radiator opening a little bit smaller. But in doing that, I've made a mistake. When I started working on the bonnet, I asked the client for a picture of the engine bay with a motor in it. And the photo that he sent me showed he had a cold air induction system coming right down to the front here, which included a fabricated uh, scoop that went into the main radiator opening. So in talking with the client, and working out exactly where that cold air induction scoop goes behind this bumper bar, I've realised it's right where I've added this extra 50 mil. So I've got to cut this improvement out and put things back the way they were. Two steps forward, one step back, just part of sculpting on a car, particularly when you're working with somebody else's car rather than your own. RX-7s have pop-up headlights. They're bulky, they've got an electric motor in them, and they're a bit on the heavy side. So on a race car, they're one of the very first things that guys ditch. Rather than putting headlight covers bolted in place, I want to leave access so they can get in here where the oil cooler and other things are going to be. So I'm going to incorporate headlight covers into the bonnet, so that when the bonnet goes up, the headlight covers will go up with it. Because those RX-7 FD headlight covers break all the time, I used to make fiberglass copies with metal brackets in them. But they were just so fiddly to make, and when I moved house, I think I lost the moulds and I wasn't sorry. So I went fishing for a pair of second-hand damaged headlight covers for one of these cars. I got promised to set, paid the guy, but he let me down. Having lost a week and a half on that exercise, I went back and did what I should have done in the first place. I just made some in tin and bolted them on. And these are going to do the job just fine. 